and it's been a it's been a process. And uh, against some players, he he does really well. Against other players like like Bungo, he does less well. And but well, I think that they go back and forth. But either way, it's a very scary. Th th this is more dynamic and scary from Baby's perspective than Bungo's. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Bungo has been on his grind. Like, like people. He just goes to everything, doesn't he? He goes to everything. It's super respectable. People like don't quite notice it, but he's always there, always grinding. That's how you get rapidly good. improving. That's how you get good. Yep. That's how you do it. You can't be like me and not attend anything and get good. Yep. Yep. But you also did kind of get good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely plateaued, though. You're a fucking bad example. I am a bad because example. Because you also plateaued, and you got good magically at random times. It's always oh. been an attitude thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, I would be so significantly better if I would just do what Bungo's doing. Yeah. He, he's a be he's a much better like role model as a player. Yep. It's like it's like mindset and then attendance are like the two biggest things, and then like... Yeah, I'm and actually then, like, uh, like huge on the opinion that uh, players who are like you should not respect players who are like good er, who get good but don't attend very often and think that that's like the way you should be or that the way it should be. That is not the way it should be. You should work hard because those uh, players will be so much better if they just worked harder, but they're lazy. Yeah, yeah, that's not I totally agree. Also, think about it from the from the community perspective. Shit just gets better for everyone if good players are there. Yeah. That's that, that's how DFW got good. We used to be the worst region in Texas. San Antonio used to be better than DFW. Yeah, I remember Along that. with Houston and Austin. They, they all used to be better than the, than DFW, and now they're all hilariously below. Even even not including, like, Mojo being here. DFW is just way better now. It's crazy. DFW's mid-level is so big. Dude, it's so big, and our high level is so big now, too. DFW but, big, <laughs> but yeah, respect the grind, dude. Yeah, don't respect, respect that grind. Don't respect players like me. DFW has a better grind than the other regions. They do. It it just does. Yeah. You know what baby's uh, you know what baby's going for with his hair? No, no, I have no fucking clue. I was just wondering. Yeah, yeah. But he like I, I feel he like, like he's keeps shifting it around. I feel he, like. He, he's also wearing tie-dye Crocs today, so don't. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Good shit, Bungo. That was a cool combo. No, that's not how that should end. Wait, hold on. Please flame him about his Crocs. Ah. Oh. No. Ah. Oh. Take him off, man! Fuck! I hate you for doing that. I could have gone my whole life without seeing those. I'm, I'm, I'm lighting him the fuck up right now, dude. I have to lay off. I could hear you're like, wow, why is him being mean about his hair? And then I'm like, wake up, Nathan! <laughs> this man deserves nothing! Except his doubles money. Good shit to, to baby. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Maybe he's going for shock value. His <laughs> shock value, dude. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody rolling up to a date wearing those? Fucking shock-based uh, fashion. <laughs> shock-based fashion, dude. That's like, did you, have you seen that guy with the shirt that says like, like so fucking sad on it? Or no, whatever? no. It's so good. That's a good shirt. That shirt is so good. I need to find that guy and ask him for his shirt, just like that specific one. <laughs> Yeah, I want the one you're wearing right now. I'll trade you. So, <laughs> oh. so you know how there's like all kinds of sci-fi dystopian futures with like random fashion trends. I right. want one where it's just like techno shock value. That would be sick. <laughs> it would be like techno, except it's normal to like have a Nazi pad on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> a lot? No, uh, uh, a fucking tie-dye Nazi pad. Oh, tie-dye? <laughs> it would be perfect too because it has that motion in it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Can you even be a, like, a Nazi hippie? Is that even possible? In the modern age, I think you can be kind of whatever you want. In the age where you're in, like, 3200, and, like, there are flying cars everywhere, but everybody uses fax machines still for some reason, I guess that that, that you could do that. I don't dude, know, man. I love 
the different past versions of the future. Retro futurism is yeah. the best aesthetic. It, 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 yeah, I love it <laughs> it's so, so much. If anybody wants to see some retro futurism at its like finest, watch Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, yeah, that's some good shit. I also like in like the Matrix, parts <gasps> of it can still kind of hold up, oh. and then other parts of it he's using a flip Style phone. On him. The Bungo Zone. That was sick. Bungo esque, Bungo combo. That was a rough set for Braden. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and he had to show us his fucking Crocs halfway through. I feel bad, but not that bad because he's wearing tie-dye rainbow Crocs. You know, every time I see the like saddened face, I just think of the Crocs, and I'm just like, 